Good evening, church, family. My name is Ed Kral. I'm in the pastoral residency program at the Park Community Church, and it's a privilege for me to speak with you. I know many of, uh, many of you um, haven't seen me for a while in church um, because most of the weekends I'm in the hospital. So um, I'm in the hospital right now at, at uh, Northwestern Hospital. I was admitted last Thursday, last Thursday for the fourth round of chemotherapy. In total, I need to do six rounds. And each round, don't forget this, each round is five days. I need to come to the hospital for five days and be 24 hours under chemo. Therapy. So I want to thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for your support financially, spiritually, physically, for all the food um, you guys have uh, cooked um, for us, for all the help to come and clean the house. We are very pleased um, of your support um, going through this process of cancer. I was diagnosed with cancer. March 21st and I'm still fighting and battling with cancer into my body. Here in the hospital is going very well. Um, every day I try to walk 40 minutes a day and drink as much water and as possible. So as you see this is the, um, the, the, the chemotherapy, the orange uh, liquid is the chemotherapy. So today I'm on uh, day three, this is my day three, so tomorrow will be the day four, and uh, if everything goes well, I will be home um, around Monday, Tuesday um, uh, morning. So with this pool, I, I will walk around in the clinic. They want you to walk, it's good to walk, even though you don't want to, it's good to walk for this type of cancer I have. I walk 40 minutes, every single day all right so um and I, i'm here to to encourage you as well maybe you have cancer maybe you don't have cancer but i want to encourage you and the way that i want to encourage you is the, with the word of god the word of god is my source the word of god is my strength and i read it every single day and this is how the Word of God is helping me go through this because I cannot do this by my own. I don't have the strength to go through this by my own. But the promises that God has given me, it has been an encouragement for my life. Listen to this in Philippians 4 verse 13. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. I can do everything the Bible is saying here. You know, my circumstance is not easy. Having cancer in your body is not easy. It changes everything into your life. It changed the way you eat. It changed the way you sleep. It changed the most thing. You cannot, you, you, your life is not normal anymore. Your circumstances are different. But the Bible says I can do everything at you can do everything through whom through Christ who gives me the strength the strength is in Christ I am in Christ and in Christ there is a strength sometimes like for example last week I was sick my tongue was filled with ulcers all, all, all over the places in my tongue I couldn't eat I couldn't speak all I did was to take a liquid to fill my, my stomach so I, in order to take my medication I asked the Lord to I asked the Lord to heal me but the Lord didn't heal me but guess what the Lord gave me the strength that is in Christ Jesus to endure all those difficult days <coughs> my tongue was very very painful everything that I eat or drink burned but I need to take it down and the Lord gave me the strength to, to pass through that. And I remember one of the doctors came and he said, Ed, you are strong. I said, thank you, Lord. He saw it. He saw that strength in me. 
He saw the strength of Jesus in, in me. And this is how I'm going through this process with Christ on my side. This is my peace. This is my stronghold. This is my joy in the Lord because Christ is with me in this journey and he is giving me the strength to pass through this process to today that today I can speak to you I can eat again thanks be to God so don't give up you also can do everything through Christ who strengthened you don't try to, to don't try to fight it in your own strength you will be overwhelmed but depend in this power that is in Christ because you are in Christ. May the Lord bless you.